This is Senior Fellow Renee Dawson, and I want to share how I build peer-to-peer -peer connections within my PLC and my social networks. First of all, if you know anything about me, you know I'm all over X slash Twitter all the time, and I use that to build a lot of my relationships with people and network myself out for um, getting noticed for podcasts, articles, uh, webinars, different things like that. I am not shy to jump into somebody's uh, DMs and say, hey, I'd love to be on your podcast, or hey, I'd love to be on your webinar. Let me know if I can help or can be a guest. Um, that's pretty much how I do networking. As far as my, pers my professional learning communities and my building, I'm a big fan of giving my teachers micro learning to do. So it's just like a one to two minute video to watch and then a little sh assignment for them to kind of like a make and take almost for them to do with something they can use in their classroom immediately. And I find that it really helps them stay engaged and it doesn't take too much time out of their day to learn something new. I do a bi-monthly interactive newsletter for them as well where they have a tech tip, uh, a video, a quick video, and any like updates on upcoming events with me. And then I find that helps them kind of stay engaged. And finally, my favorite thing that I always tell people that I do with my teachers is I give them 10 minute brain breaks. So we're super lucky to have a Zen lounge for our staff in our building, right? Isn't that nice? Massage chairs, TV, Keurig, facial steamers, Zen gardens, all that good stuff. So I go into teachers rooms randomly or if they've done something cool, I try to reward them with this, but usually just randomly. And I hand them a timer with 10 minutes on it, send them to the Zen room and I take over their class. And I usually do something cool with technology with the kids to get them hyped and get them to ask the teacher to bring me back. So that's how I connect with my teachers in peer to peer.